Hey folks, welcome back here to the Vegas Don Channel. We're currently westbound here on Stewart Avenue, just west of Nellis Boulevard. We're about to uh, jump on the highway here real quick on the east side of town. Temperature outside, the car reads 100 degrees here at 10 a.m. That's what, 30, is that 32 degrees Celsius, I think? Something like that. And we nail another red light, of course we do. This street, this cross street is Marion. The wall over there on the other side of the street looks like some drunk drivers have gone through it a few times. You see that quite a bit throughout the town. It's a 24 hour town, of course, so. People are out drinking their paychecks away no matter what time of day it is. And then of course a lot of them are out here gambling their paychecks away too. The street light up there has a lot of wires underneath it. And what they're all for. I don't see any cameras or anything up in there, so I'm not sure. And then they have slots up here on some of the street light posts for um looks like you know yeah uh, seasonal stuff going on around town but uh, those are not in use right now actually there is one up here it looks like let's see what it says east las vegas and uh just some artwork and that's it nothing specific As we approach the light here at Lamb Boulevard, we'll make a left on the Lamb and uh, wait to go southbound here. 100 degrees at 10 a.m. We got someone up here on the other side of this 7-Eleven. Shout out to 7-Eleven, man. Just that house right behind it looks like they're selling clothing right there off their uh, chain link fence. some uh, residential areas here on the left side of a busy Lamb Boulevard. This is a very busy street here on the uh, east side of town. And uh, homeless encampment right there on the sidewalk on our right. This is Sunrise Avenue we're passing for our friends following along at home. Some older looking uh, apartment buildings here to our right. And then, uh, what is this, a quarter, half mile away? What do we have? Another 7-Eleven. Shout out to 7-Eleven, man. A pack of cigarettes, a pack of cool cigarettes. $9.20, right on red arrow after stop. Okay, and go. And we're gonna go ahead and pull over here real quick. So uh, we'll go ahead and they got caught behind the uh, line of traffic there. Boca Dental Braces here in front of us. And uh, just waiting for the light. There's also a Home Depot back behind these buildings in this shopping center. It's uh, notorious for Of, uh, day workers, things like that. And that brings us up here to Sacramento. This is Prince Lane we're crossing over now. Ronald Lane. Huge, empty dirt lot over here on our left. And, uh, El Pollo Loco there on the left as well. That's a fast food chicken joint. Used to be a Pep Boys right next door to it, but that's been closed. Pep Boys used to be kind of a big deal, but uh, not so much anymore. This interchange up here is with uh, US Highway 95 slash US Highway 93 slash Interstate 11 inter slash Interstate 515. They want it to go, they want it to, they want to sign it as Interstate 11 all the way from the Mexican border up to the Canadian border. However, to do that, they're gonna to have to build a whole lot of roadway that is not currently in place. This interchange looks like it's about 90% done. It took a 
a while to get to this point. No turn on red, but those lights are not in service right now. And here we go. About to head. Well, we're going to curb actually westbound on US 95, US 95, though US 93 and 95 pretty much run north south. For this little stretch here, they run east west over to Interstate 15. They share the roadway with Interstate. 515 slash now Interstate 11. And this uh, stretch of roadway has been under, under construction for a long time. It's been several years, in fact. See an ad there for Lee's Discount Liquor. That's a liquor store chain here in Las Vegas. for the Love Store. You can guess what they do in there, or at least sell it there, I should say. Brings us up here to Eastern Avenue, the exit for Eastern. Eastern is a major east-west, north-south, major north-south artery here in Las Vegas. Carl's Jr., $3 Western Wednesdays. I guess Wednesday's a slow day for them. downtown Las Vegas, Fremont Street. You can see the uh, D coming into focus there along with Circa. We're going to go ahead and try and get over here so we can go southbound on the 15. Yeah, so four lanes, but one of them's an exit lane, so it, they may just go through eons of construction. This is how it was set up before, too. Now we're back to three lanes. Southbound 15 closure, Flamingo to 215 at night. This is a Sunday morning, so uh, traffic shouldn't be too terrible. Down the 15, and we'll be exiting before
this whole uh, stretch of Interstate 15 is pretty new. You see the strat there on the left, that demarcates the beginning of the Las Vegas Strip heading south from that mark. They just redid this entire interchange not too long ago, this whole uh, stretch of roadway. And they want to continue from like uh, the 215 south down to uh, almost all the way to St. Rose Parkway, which is the uh, south end of town from what I've read online. The semi is cruising at the speed limit. 65 miles an hour. The two left lanes merge over there, probably because of all the construction up here at Flamingo. closest to the Strip and uh, Fremont Street. All sorts of uh, amenities in there. We're going to go ahead and exit here at Spring Mountain Road. And uh, we really do have some Sunday drivers out here. We're down to 50. This is why accidents happen, because of something called speed variance. Too much variance in the speeds between different cars. And you end up with people colliding with one another because that, of the difference in speeds between different cars. It's one of the major factors. I know this because I've done a, uh, a huge research paper on it back in college. Back in my college days in Florida. Florida Atlantic University. I'm going to exit westbound here on Spring Mountain. And a good thing, too, because you can see the traffic there now backing up on the 15 as they narrow the lanes down, narrow the roadway down to looks like one lane open. <laughs> One lane open. I'm gonna wait for this red light here. This is the beginning of us, uh, Chinatown here, Spring Mountain Road, west of here. Treasure Island is immediately off to our left on the other side of the interstate, along with Palazzo, Wynn and Encore. the green light here, the turn signal here at Polaris. We're going to see if we can make this light. There's several vehicles in front of us in this lane. And you never know who's playing with their phone, taking selfies, putting makeup on, things like that. There's an old car right in front of us. Looks like an old Cadillac. And this up here is the Rio that they've newly remodeled in the last year. They sold uh, Caesars Entertainment sold it to another company that I don't quite remember the name of right now, but they sold it and this new company's come in, remodeled it, put some money into the place. I think they said something like $800 million they put into it between the rooms and the uh, casino floor, etc. This is Twain right here in front of us. We'll wait for a light here at Twain. Their convention. 
convention hall back here that you see it right, right here in front of us in the foreground. I'm make this left. And a little speed bump action here. Employee parking only in here. strip right there in front of you, Cesar Palacio, as well as uh, Palacio, Cosmopolitan, Aria, all right there in front of us. And we're going to go ahead and look for a place to park while we do that. We want to say thank you all so very, very much for joining. We really, really appreciate each and every single one of you. We would not be here without you, and that's a fact. Thank you for coming cruising with us. And as always, remember here on the Vegas Don channel, it's the journey. We'll see you next time, folks.